Welcome to the Microtransaction. I'm your host, Liquid, and joining me today, I have the PlayStation Plus man himself right here, right now. Chris, Chris, how are you today? Nice. nice just, plus. just thank you. Just, like, you know, you think you've seen it all. Yeah. You think, all right, this is going to, you're only going to get so much news like this. Mm -hmm. And then... PlayStation does a counter offensive. Yeah. Yeah. That's I think that's a perfect way to put it. Yeah. Oh, this God. is coming off the the heels off the the acquisition off the from the Xbox Activision stuff. Now PlayStation, I guess, has a response. This is really the best way to put this. And uh they, they bought out Bungie. Um or or I yeah, I guess they they bought Bungie for how much was it? Three point six, I think. Three point six. Oh, yeah, three point six. I hear like once the once all the deals clear, it'll be like Four billion. Okay, yeah, sounds about right. So yeah, so for three point six billion, um, and yeah, it, it's it's very unusual though the wording and the articles that we've been seeing very unusual. But we'll, we'll we'll get right into it, Chris. So far, how are you feeling about all of this? See, we're seeing this stuff happen right before our eyes. It's it's wild. What 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 are you what are you thinking? Honestly, it's just like everyone always talks about Sony getting. A Konami mm -hmm. or something like this. I heard Square Enix. And I've heard. Square Enix. And right. now Bungie. Yeah. The former creators of Halo. Who would have thought? What what a coincidence. If I would have told you uh -huh. in 2007 that Sony would buy Bungie, you look at me like I was a crazy person. Yeah, absolutely. I'd be like, no, you're out of your mind. Like this is gonna be an Xbox studio forever. Wow. Yeah, I know. It's wild. Um, so, yeah, j just to give people, uh, you know, just, just give people a little rundown here. I got the article pulled up here. Um, and, uh, yeah, this is from, let's see, who, 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 who said this? this one's, I think this one's Jim Ryan, if I'm not mistaken, where they started off with, first and off, I want to be very clear to the community that Bungie will remain an independent and multi-platform studio and publisher. Now, Chris, what does that mean? What do we think that means? I... <sighs> I think the conversation between Phil Spencer and top execs at Sony made sure that everything stayed on the up and up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think the conversation they had was about Bungie games saying cross platform. Mm -hmm. So Call of Duty games might be able to stay cross platform. That's a great this point. is my conspiracy corner. Okay. But. Uh, yeah. We do know a conversation was had between the two execs. Yes, that, Phil Spencer already clarified that in one of his mm -hmm. tweets that he talked to Sony about it and everything. Um, and yeah, and and we, uh, by my understanding, we even know that before the acquisition was announced for Activision and Xbox, like PlayStation apparently had an idea or they already knew it was happening, which I'd imagine mm -hmm. makes sense. I mean, they have the contractual agreements with certain games, like the marketing for for Call of Duty. So to imagine they have to kind of know. In, in some way, uh -huh. shape, or form. But yeah, but but let's continue here. Uh, so yeah, so that was from Jim Ryan. So uh, I wouldn't give my opinion, though, on this. Because like, I, Bro, I, 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 I see what you're saying. And yes, I think that's a good point. Um, the thing is, it's just like, does Destiny sell as much as Call of Duty? I don't think it does, does it? I, I really don't know. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't. But let's, let's, let's read through this. Let's okay. just knock it out and let's go at it. Let's, let's like, just, let's just, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. All but right. I like where your head's at. Keep that. Let's let's hold yeah, on yeah. to that. All right. Sounds good. Uh, so, yeah, let, I'll, I'll read the rest of the paragraph here. So as such, we believe it makes sense for it to sit alongside the PlayStation Studios organization. And we are incredibly excited about the opportunities for synergies and collaboration between these two world class groups. I have spent a lot of time with Pete Parsons, Jason Jones and the Bungie management team to develop the right relationships where they will be fully backed and supported by Sony Interactive Entertainment and enabled to do Oh, what they do best build incredible worlds that captivate millions of people uh here i'll just read the rest of it. it's almost done uh bungie's world-class expertise in multi-platform development and live games of service will help us deliver on our vision on expanding playstation to hundreds of millions of gamers bungie is a great innovator and has developed incredibly proprietary tools that will help playstation studios achieve new heights under herman hulse's leadership for those who don't know, Herman Hulse was the ex-director of Guerrilla Games for Horizon Zero Dawn. Here are a few words from Herman Hulse about this. Well, and then Herman Hulse starts talking about how they're excited to have this thing. But yeah, that's that was Jim Ryan essentially talking about you know what what they have planned. Okay. 
It's crazy to think Herman Holtz was once in charge of making a Halo killer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And now is he's working. It's just we have Halo with Call of Duty, and then we have the. the it's just it's just crazy. Yeah. When you think about the storylines and the things at play. It's just. And I think mm -hmm. that having Bungie mm -hmm. was an incredibly smart move. Really? How so? I because Bungie for the last twenty years have set trends. They're oh, the only okay. one. Think about it. They made first person shooter work on controller. They're the only person that really does games of service well. We've seen Division try. We've seen a myriad of other games try to do the Destiny model and can't do something Bungie can do that no one else can find out. It, like it's it's there, they can't do it. Right. And and we all know that that uh Bungie is working on a a new IP okay, in yeah. the background while continuing Destiny. And it's just I man. It's, it's just nuts. What do you think? Like, what, what do you think? About so this? this is where my mind is at here because uh, we, we talked about I, I think of it from a point of, well, PlayStation, what could they do to retaliate essentially? Right. So because mm -hmm. like I was thinking about the acquisition with, the, like I said, Activision with the Xbox mm -hmm. and we know Microsoft has this sort of endless checkbook. Right. And they, they just write and get these studios, even if they're paying more for it, they can afford it. That's the that's the big deal there. Mm -hmm. And Sony can't compete with that. But. I hear this and I'm like, oh wait, they're being, uh, what 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 is the words they use? They're uh, independent. They're remaining independent as well. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, so and and the thing is, we've seen something like this with Discord. If you don't don't remember, if you don't remember, by the way, as a time of this recording, Discord is available where you can link up your PlayStation account. Uh, but remember, we were hearing uh, rumblings about Xbox acquiring Discord, and then all of a sudden Sony sweeps in and they, they end up doing a partnership, leaving them, again, independent. It seems like since Sony doesn't have the biggest checkbook, this whole independency thing is kind of like mm -hmm. how they're playing their string. That's how I see it. So I'm like, oh, so maybe they can't fight, you know, like they can't fight in that same exact war, but if they call it, leave them independent they don't have to pay it now as much it's still considered under the sony brand i think all that is honestly is probably in the contract if this is what sony's trying to do i don't know if this is it or not but who knows maybe if there is no plans for game pass to come on playstation right maybe sony's mm -hmm. just like oh we don't care what you do from here on out the contract just says that you don't go on any games of service that's it like you don't go on any other mm -hmm. uh service model that's it like this is this is it or if you do go try to go to it like put a game out there you come to us first that that's, kind of that's a, that's a great point liquid because i think this is might be setting up the groundwork for their for spartacus and if you don't know it's it's right. also playstation's answer to game pass just in case you guys don't know right and if uh you don't know what game pass is is a video on here oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put it at the end here yeah, yeah. A reminder. so but um what you're saying i think this is a the thing is, they can't fight f with fire. Obviously, right. Microsoft's worth two trillion. It might at two point when you say trillions, yeah, you might as well say a billion. Yeah, it's not even a real number. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Anymore. I can't even think of it. Like, what, yeah, yeah, exactly. like, like, bro, I can't even count to ten. Like, get out of here. And you know what I mean? Like, now you have this company who, like, like, it shows Sony's creative, like, creativity. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, we're technically still winning this thing against microsoft right and we need but we can't go in a heads up fight with them and i think this open thing and probably just asking for i think it's more like money off the top yeah i think it's to just so people don't get left in the dust because i don't think it, they it will ever happen but microsoft can literally buy everyone yeah when you saw the markup for prices for these companies, it's like this is well within Microsoft's ability to purchase literally everything. Yeah, because when Microsoft purchased Activision, it was supposed to be like I think forty percent higher than what their uh their uh, the 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 value was or what at the time for like their stock value was. Yes. So. so yeah. Yeah. You te technically, micro uh, Microsoft can afford uh, PlayStation. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> like, it's, that just shows you the craziness but we're not talking about we're they were talking about this destiny acquisition mm -hmm. i think that i think they want to make sure whatever the new ip is and wherever bungie goes next playstation isn't 
like they've been not on the right side of Bungie, right? With, with Halo, where they couldn't do anything. They know how well the Destiny thing did because no, no matter how anyone feels about Destiny, mm-hmm. that fan base is loyal. Yeah, and they spend money and they're here for it. And it's been like coming up ten years, and people have just been playing. I saw a thing where a guy's like, "I played at least seven thousand hours of Destiny." God damn. And he's like, this is what I do. I love the world. I love the game. I love the shooting mechanics. And you're and, and he's like, it's a great thing I can do after after work and relax and chill and do missions with the homies. Mm-hmm. Like that was just like, you know, there there's something real there. Right. And what I I bet because you they, they micro or PlayStation has to know that you know Bungie going back to Microsoft wouldn't be the craziest thing. So they had to no. offer I think something Microsoft couldn't and that is a publishing freedom yeah yeah yeah, you're 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 probably right like and i think that kind of adds to what i was saying like you said Mm -hmm. uh as far as just as far as that that's how they're gonna fight it that's how they or maybe that's how they feel they could fight it right um it's it's very jarring like i I heard this news and i'm like oh man i was already annoyed because this is what i didn't want this whole thing to go down as i didn't want this to happen because like uh you know we I wanted to go into the whole Sony's relationship with their studios. Uh, you know, we see the Sony games for some reason. Sony games are usually held in a higher standard than a lot of others, you know? And, um, and I'm saying comparing to Xbox, obviously. So, and even, compare, even in-house. Yeah, yeah, exactly. In-house as yeah. well. So it's it's held to a higher standard because of their relationship with the studio. And and I, I believe in that. So when I saw this, I'm just like, dude, you don't have that relationship. Like, we, like the last four studios they acquired was insomniac so we know they have a really we know they've always had a relationship with insomniac for the longest of time yeah. um uh blue point. blue point who've done remakes for them before like the god of war hd remakes as well have, mm-hmm. have they you know helped them out with that so a house mark rezo gun was exclusive to ps4 i think even a uh, uh, matterfall was another one that was at, back yes. there alienation if i'm not mistaken there was a few of them out there um so that was a, and then even Fire Sprite. Fire Sprite the uh, before the thing is Fire Sprite before they were Fire Sprite they were uh um what are they called? I think they were Liverpool. I think they were originally Sony Liverpool. That got oh, so, really? Sony dropped them. A few of their members left made a whole new studio which actually worked on games for Sony like Playroom and Playroom VR. Oh. Yeah, and now Sony acquired them again like <laughs> So fucking. It was like yo, I like what you're doing. You yeah, it's just, mad, yeah, mad. exactly. You're no. never took it you away. See, I, I see it as like, oh, I, I see what's going on. Is that you got rid of these studios? Remember Evolution? They got rid. They got a bunch rid of a bunch of studios, and now you kind of regret, you know, getting rid of those studios. You wish you kind of had those now, huh? Mm-hmm. So they're kind of playing a little catch up again with these studios, is what it seems like. Yeah. Um, but it's a crazy sentence. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is indeed but, a crazy like, sentence. Like, how are you catching up while you're in the lead? Right. That's where we're at right now in 2022, boys and girls. Yeah. It's like, it's like, it's almost like you're playing catch up to a future that hasn't even, hasn't arrived yet, but we know wow. it's, a, but we know it's coming. You get what I'm saying? Oh, you're a hundred percent right. Yeah. That's exactly what it oh, is. Oh my God. Yeah. And, and you know, it's just it's like, it just to think that like this is just the beginning we had ea or or not ea we had activision blizzard now we have this and then both both teams and i feel it's going to be on the sony side more because right now i think microsoft is on the slowdown until this deal locks down. i, I think I so think too they, especially I don't think they want to the smoke because the word monopoly comes up it's crazy how monopoly isn't getting brought up now though well I feel like it's because like with with Xbox, I feel like like I think you're right. Yes, they do have to slow down. I think also because like I know they have an endless checkbook, but after you fork out seventy billion, I think it, <laughs> you're probably like, hey, I think we're good for a little while. Is how they how I felt it for a little bit. You know, they probably mm-hmm. thinking, but um, but also yes, like you said, the, the whole monopoly thing, uh, that that gets brought up here, which I know we're we're technically not even close. If, if we're if Xbox has a monopoly, Disney's should have been having been guilty of a monopoly. In the movies theory, yeah, it's basically Disney versus. Versus Warner Brothers. Yeah, but technically, Sony makes Sony's video game department makes, still makes more money mm-hmm. than Xbox's, even with the acquisition. So technically, Sony's mm. on the closer side to be considered a monopoly. But no one's talking about that now. 
I just want to throw out the little bit of bias that's going out <laughs> there, okay? Just just realize no one's saying Monopoly. Right. No, bro, no, no one's ever rolled a dice. No one's ever gotten out of jail. Right. Apparently. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. But I, I, I think it's a little different, though. You're comparing apples to oranges. You no, know, I am. Because you're talking about uh, Sony buying a studio, essentially, versus Xbox acquiring a publisher. A publisher that owns but, several but titles. Like, they do publish their own games. I get and that. And they want to be multifaceted because we're going to have I, the new IP that's coming out. That's it. I think Bungie mm -hmm. wants to do what Epic is doing. Oh, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure I they do. They I'm sure they want like, a piece of that pie. Yeah, I, 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 that's what I, that's where I think Bungie wants to go. Because, like, look, we're not for that, but we, we are Destiny. Right, right, and right. People, people buy in. People are like, I don't even like Destiny, and I just spent a hundred dollars on this oh, DLC. God. Dude, I, I that I've I've been guilty. That's fucking annoying. Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> you know, but it's like, hey, that uh, it is what it is. Right. And I, honestly, I think I I I, I it'd be, I'd be shocked if Bungie was like, hey, dude, Sony offered us this. Mm -hmm. Do you can you give us the same thing and about him Phil Spencer's like hell nah nah yeah yeah nah bro I need I need to, you can go anywhere where Game Pass is open. right right I need that commitment I need you to put yeah. a ring on it yeah which hey man honestly I just I love a world where PlayStation actually has their de facto shoot because you know whatever the next thing is is going to be a shooter oh without a doubt dude i, I don't think so, bungie does anything besides shooters now right that's kind of so like what they do Sony is for the first time ever mm -hmm. gonna have a definitive shooter that is not like trying to take someone out right could possibly lead the pack i want to see what that, i want to see what a shooter with sony polish put together you know what i'm saying right i want to see neil Druckmann talking to the head of bungie you know what i'm saying because naughty dogs are already on twitter welcome them with hope in arms yeah and i'm like oh man i was like Ooh. speaking of naughty dog i think the uh the like the you know the ps5 upgrade from the uncharted i think it just started today where you can upgrade it uh i believe so i think that just started today i know i got a notification for it but i don't well, know I don't know either. Uh, we have to deal with that on another day. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, but I, I want to talk a little bit more about why this kind of upsets me, though. Um, okay. Because like I, I remember how I was saying, you know, like the whole, you know, with PlayStation having, you know, they they have their high, their games are held to a higher level, and mm -hmm. it's because that relationship they have with their studios. And this is a situation where they don't. I don't feel like they have that relationship with the studio. You know, they're trying to they're pulling essentially an Xbox move where it's like, yo, you just buy the studio. The studio, mm -hmm. oh, they you know they make good games. You just buy the studio, even if they've never made anything for you, even if they never made an exclusive for you, you're just gonna go ahead and buy them out. You know what I'm saying? And I don't like that because I feel like we get sub. I don't want to say sub park. That sounds that's less than average, but we get you know a little bit above average stuff but we don't get like the really like the the big stuff the the stuff that that shakes the, the the industry up you know what i'm saying the stuff that says oh i got to buy that system like like what what can you like what what does xbox have that says hey i need to buy that i need to buy the system for this like this is why you get like, well, of, like you mean like as of now or I, like i wouldn't even say like, now, i feel like now it's less than ever because they don't care about that anymore like they realize that now it's all about game pass i need if i want i, I need to get that for game pass or something like that you know mm -hmm. uh but in the, back in the day let's say uh the previous generation the generation before that you'd say halo right we'll, like, we'll leave xbox went out but but halo halo was a, the, the, the probably Basically, the number one yeah yeah the halo the more, gears more, uh, yeah. yeah so but like you know when I look at stuff like PS4 and I see the entire PS4 line, I'm like, Jesus, like there's so many games where I could say that about, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and I, so that's like, so I'm just like, I, I don't know. I just feel like Bungie's not going to offer me that this, this whole acquisition. I'm not, I don't, wow. I don't know if I'm going to get that. I really don't know, dude, but just because of how I feel about Bungie right now, as it is, you know, I don't mm -hmm. like destiny. I'm not a big destiny guy. Uh, yeah. But I think you're underestimating like, I know since Destiny let the sour taste in your mouth personally, mm -hmm. like you're forgetting the 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 genre defining studio right. that Bungie actually is. You know what? You're absolutely right. I do. I forget it very quickly. Um, 
you know, as far as like who they were, because even when De- I remember, dude, and who they are, yeah, yeah, and who they are, because I we've we've gone into detail. I was a big Destiny guy in the beginning, so mm-hmm. uh, no, I I agree. We'll see. I hope I'm proven wrong. I really do. Like, and if it is, you know, like a shooter, absolutely. Hey, as long as my melee is registered, I'd be happy with it. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm yo, just, man, yo. I'm just saying, dude. Yo, like that, Halo, baby, yo you need to leave Halo alone. <laughs> it pisses me off. Uh, yeah. Leave Halo alone. It, it didn't do off. nothing to you, all right? <laughs> Apparently, it really didn't do anything to you. Hey, no, you ain't lying. I got more, in, more, more, cool more ways than one, dude. Oh, my God. But, yeah, dude, no, I think I'm excited. Mm-hmm. Like, cause I am gonna get a PlayStation at some point this this year, cause God of War is coming out. I told myself like God of War, Hell or High Water, Chris is gonna have a PS5. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And now, now it makes me excited. I'm like, even though I still feel like I'm still gonna get that experience on Xbox, mm-hmm. like whatever the new IP is. Mm-hmm. But just in case they don't, right? You know what I mean? Like it won't matter to me. And like uh, uh, Bungie has such like say what you want about Destiny and heck, even for some of y'all that don't like Halo. You know, the games always feel great. Yeah, you know? yeah, they still feel good. Absolutely. You know, and uh, hell, even for the people that played Oni back in the day, you guys know that game was good. It was on the PS2. You know, that's where I played it. I, th- I think that's where a lot of people played it. I, is that, I yeah, think it might have been exclusive to the PS2. I always, I always remember the cool like thing with the girl. Yeah, the girl with the purple hair. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. the thing is, I bought that game and my PlayStation 2 couldn't play it because my PlayStation 2 couldn't play purple discs. And that's when it was a purple disc on the other side. Like, on, if you look at the bottom of it, oh. it wasn't like the silver. It was a uh, purple, and my PlayStation Two couldn't play those discs. Well, it oh. can't play those discs. I never, I, I never played the game before. And I, oh. I got it. I would say a few years ago to add for my collection, oh, and nice. I just, I could never play it though. So well, there goes that Bungie fanboy over here had to get the Chronicles. No, I get. What I'm trying yeah. to say is Bungie pulled another one and just took my money. And well, even though they're not making any money off of it, they still yeah. like I paid for this game and I still can't even play. I'm like, God, Bungie, you suck. Nah, Bungie. Yo, bro, I thought you liked Sony a little more than that, dude. Look, I like Sony. I do. I like a lot of stuff PlayStation does. And I'm, I'm just like you here as far as like everything that Xbox is, is buying. It doesn't really bother me too much because it's just like, oh, I could play Call of Duty for fifteen dollars a month. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. You know what I'm saying? Like it, so me being a Call of Duty kind of guy, even if it's not on PlayStation, is what I'm getting at, right? Mm-hmm. Um, or even anything they they have, like you know, I, I wouldn't mind. Like, oh, okay, cool, I'll play. I have Game Pass, so I, it doesn't bother me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just like, and it's not gonna matter because you're gonna have Spartacus, and whatever they do is not gonna bother you. Either. No, no, yeah. As far as Spartacus, all I, honestly, if you would have just gave me the backwards compatibility stuff, that's all I really asked for. That's probably really all yeah. I want from Spartacus, and that's probably yeah. uh, I'm probably in the minority saying that, but I don't care. Yeah, well, I but guess yeah. uh, we'll, 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 we'll there, right? Yeah, I think that's good. I'm looking at the article just to see if there's anything else we need to go over, anything else they mention, but it doesn't look like it. It's just sort of sort of a bungee in place. You're just jerking each other off. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, my God. You work <laughs> with us now. Yeah. We could put your name on our thing. Yeah. Like, on their, on their little... On their oh, little, yeah. That's another uh, thing. Tablet. Yeah. So, if, if Bungie does come with a game, that just means you're going to see the PlayStation, like, the little logo, the little splash in the beginning. That's really the only big other difference you're probably going to see. But who knows? Yeah. Okay. Well, whatever. Hopefully, whatever they come out with does ends up being good. That's all I care about. Yeah. But anyways... Uh, okay. Save money is that it is. And I'm excited to see whatever Bungie's next project is going to be under Sony. You know what? After Destiny, I'm excited, too. I'll, I'll say it. But um, yeah, other than that, I guess we you have any last words you have, Chris, to say before we leave the kids off? We're playing some Destiny tonight, Liquid. No, no, Woo! we're not. No, we're not, dude. Anyways, I'm going to leave you all per usual. Love each other. Take care. But above all else, be cool. We'll see you in the next microtransaction.